All right, so I wanted to present to you guys about end behavior. I didn't have the word end behavior in my paper. Let's try it here. End behavior. All right, so I have a graph. <coughs> I have uh, some continuous graphs. And in pre, before you took Algebra 2 or maybe Algebra 2, all they cared about was these arrows. That's really a big idea and behavior, just the arrows, how you start and how you end. Let's go through the... Uh, Let's go through the, on the, uh, what axis is this class? X axis. Let's put a person here, that's you. And then uh, if you go to the left on the X axis, it's what? Negative what? And then to the right? And then this axis is called the Y or? What's a fancy way of saying why? Sorry, tell me if it's blurry. F of x. And then if you go up in life, your bank account might go up. That's called positive infinity, and this is negative infinity. Okay? So, in, in before you took Algebra 2 or maybe in Algebra 2, they might have just done some basic things like this. Class, going from, uh, how do you read in English? Left to right. I've learned other languages, they do this, right? Different languages, right? So we go from left to right, so we started up, and they finished where? Down. Pretty simple, right? Just where the arrows are at. How about this example? Highlight your arrows. That's the end behavior. Starts where? Starts down and then ends what? Up. Okay, so they decided, the math gods decided that was too simple. Okay, so they want to make it a little bit more complicated. So then they wrote this sentence. As x approaches blank, f of x approaches blank. And as x approaches blank, f of x approaches blank. Copy that sentence down over here. Is this ringing a bell for some of you? Yeah. You guys appreciate all those math connections we're making? Okay, what does this mean? As X approaches, or you're approaching or walking, everyone say always. You always have to have one of each. Positive infinity, negative infinity, and then because we're doing two examples, I'm just copying and pasting, right? Positive infinity, negative infinity, okay? And that's why I drew the, the, the band. Because if you're going towards the, what direction is this? To the right, then the f of x is up or down. What happens as you go to the right on the roller coaster? You go down, so that would be negative infinity. Do you see that? And then as x approaches negative infinity, what's happening? The y values are going up. That would be positive infinity. This is just a fancy way of saying up. This is a fancy way of saying left. Left. This one we're going up. This one we said we're going down. How about over here? As you're going to which direction? You're going to the right. What happens to the graph? How do you say up? Positive infinity on the f of x to the y values. As x go approaches negative infinity, which direction? Negative. 
You're going left. What happens to the man? You're going down. How do you say down? <coughs> Negative infinity. Okay? All right, last part. So now, for they said this was too simple for you, so they decided to add this word called a limit. Isn't that crazy? Same thing. And it's essentially the same sentence, but all they did was add what word in there? Limit. That's it. Isn't that interesting? They just want to make things more complicated than they are. Okay. What happens when you go towards the right? What happens to our graph? Where's it going? Up or down? Down. How do you write down? Negative infinity. See that? As x approaches negative infinity, what's happening? Up. How do you say up? Positive infinity. That's it. They're just making complicated things. <coughs> we try to make simple. It's funny because that's what math is known for, right? We're supposed to take really complex ideas and try to make it simple. Class, what kind of weekend are you going to have? Fun, safe, and legal.